Okay, it's raining and I have to go out somewhere. But holy cow, sky. <gasps> wow. I don't know what is going on with the sky tonight. It's amazing. I could I was in the house and just everything felt yellow in the house. Recently, I received a few comments here that really surprised me. The comments basically said, wow, you're, you're such a confident person. I really admire that. The comments both surprised me, but also made me so happy because honestly, I've been working so hard on self-esteem and self-confidence. I've mentioned before in other videos that it's such a struggle for me, just like it is for so many of us. But one of the reasons I keep making these videos is because it kind of feels like a bit of a therapy exercise to put myself out there. And even though I don't feel confident, I don't like the way I look, I keep trying. Have you ever looked at the world and thought it looked completely black and white? <laughs> that is what it feels like today when I look up here. It's gonna snow, not a lot, but it's completely gray and the sky almost looks white. The weather has been seesawing between beautiful and then cold and gray, but on the days when I can get outside here into the garden, I've been making some fun changes, like moving the picnic table, which I'm gonna spare you the footage of that. It wasn't pretty, but I've got it out in the middle of the yard because I'm dying to do something like this. I've been pinning some pictures of these amazing setups for lights, and I cannot wait to hang that right over the two tables now. And pinning some other fun projects like this one that uses wood from pallets and then this one. Oh, I have to do this one. When I received those comments about confidence, it, it made me laugh, as I said, and it also made me think about all the times when I've looked at people and thought, wow, what a confident person. I wish I could have that kind of confidence and self-esteem, but maybe they're doing just what I'm doing right here, which is just trying to fake it till I make it, knowing that it's a healthy thing to love yourself. It's a healthy thing to accept yourself. I really don't know if this guy has a shot at making it. There is some bend to a few of his branches. Most of them are just dead. Oh, no, that one's got bend. That one's got bend. There's a lot of dead ones. Um, I thought it was dead. And then I peeled this guy back and saw the green. So I think he's alive. <laughs> I don't think he's well. <laughs> So I'm going to plant him and see what happens. In the summertime, I wear pretty much always my long, flowy boho dresses. <laughs> in the winter, you will often find me in, we'll call it maybe less attractive outfits when I'm home. My sweatpants, my sweatshirts, and I really did think about maybe I should go in and change before I record myself doing this. But then. I stopped and said, you know what, this is me today. This is exactly what I look like today. And maybe I can just continue to work on my self-confidence and say, this is good enough. I have to figure out a fun way to decorate this pot so that it will look really cute there in the garden. He attracts birds, which I'm excited about because I'm scared to fill the bird feeders because of the bears. So I would love to have lots of birds back here but just not lots of bears. So, so maybe this will work for me. Time to tackle this room. <laughs> and first up is the paint color. I'm only painting one wall in this room, but I don't know if you remember the process I had to go through just to pick that one color. Yeesh, it was quite a process. And now I think I've got it. Here is oh, the color. Ooh. I 
good chunk of this wall in this color before I can, and I have to live with it for like a day, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be good. When I first picked pink for this room, I thought it was the very first time I had picked pink, and I like surprised myself picking it, and then I found this old picture of the very first apartment that I had in the Hudson Valley. It was in Hyde Park in an old, old house, and it had, um, I did a pink wall in there too, so I completely forgot about it, and I loved it. Like, I had it, it was in my hallway, and um, it had a black and white checkered floor, and so I thought it needed pink. So from out here, it looks good. That was one thing I was really worried about. When I come over, like, and this is getting trimmed out today, which is exciting, but when I look from this way, and see it with the pretty pink curtains. Yeah, I realized that it's gonna be good. I just love this picture that I picked up in a thrift store and it's kind of been the inspiration for the colors I've been picking for the room so far. What a life. What a life. Do you want to go bye bye? What's up, buddy? Back at Chipotle. <laughs> this is always where I come when stuff's being done in my house. I wasn't actually planning on being out and about today, but there is some trim that needs to get put up around a window that was replaced in the bedroom, and it's going to get done right now. So that seemed like a perfect excuse to run out with Charlie and stop at Chipotle and then run and see. I need to find some chairs now, really comfy but small and cute, of course, <laughs> chairs for my little dining table. I have a chair there that's it's working, but it's not at all comfortable. So I'm going to stop at the Habitat Restore. I don't know why I keep stopping there. They never have good prices, but I'm going to try. I also need artwork for my bedroom. so. The, the hunt is on and um, I also need hooks for my bathroom. I never put hooks up to hang my towels. So Habitat sometimes really good for that. So I'm going to peek for that and then I'm going to stop at a store called Adams because they have lots of amazing plants. So I would love to find a really big beautiful plant for the bedroom um, because I always feel better about room transformations as plants start going in. <laughs> Of course, the first place I always stop and check is all of the dishes, but I kept pulling up ones that were just too expensive for my taste, especially when we're considering it's a thrift store. And then I found this one. I think that's a good price, but I didn't love the pattern so much. I loved this one, and then I really, really loved this guy, but he was actually metal. If it wasn't metal, I would have gotten it. And then I found exactly what I needed and I had to just walk away from prices that made me angry. And then I found this guy, and he turned out to be kind of like a little test of wits for me. Can you guess what it is? Any guesses? Yep, it's a laundry hamper. I love this shape of a chair. This is kind of what I'm looking for, but not quite that price and not the color either. all my books I'm so excited this book so the Agassi method is something that completely gave me my life back like I've talked about it before but I mean I couldn't walk for years and Igaskyu completely gave me back my life so I have this exact book but there is like different there's different menus you can follow in here and I've used it so many times that my book is falling apart so this is perfect I often just go to them in person and they make me custom menus but just for generic like if my lower back hurts if my hips hurt or whatever I just use one of the little menu of exercises in here neck and head has been my <laughs> one I've been using the most lately there's another side to Charlie that YouTube has never seen and that is the very very vicious side of him he can get unpredictably to me vicious towards people and I, I genuinely don't know what triggers it other than I know he's scared sometimes and I can't figure out why sometimes he's scared and sometimes he's not 
So I've been watching Caesar and trying to learn the things that I'm inevitably doing wrong. And then I'm also just trying to take him out and about more and put him in. Okay, here's a perfect situation of where he's gonna get aggressive. Eh, eh, be nice. Be nice. Be nice. Like, I don't mind if he growls a little at strangers, but we'll see if he does it for the camera here. He can get like crazy vicious and he didn't with her, but the people who were just here before, like he gets to where he's freaking out and then he bites me, which he doesn't mean to bite me, but it's just like, he's so freaking out that he just bites the thing he can bite, which is me. <laughs> so I don't quite understand. So we're gonna work on this. We're gonna be doing parking lots more often. Oh, and I also forgot about these two stores. So I'm gonna go check them out. First the antiques and then the resale. This place, oh my gosh. I could spend years in here. <laughs> oh, I shouldn't have come in here. <laughs> oh, so cute. How cool would she be in the bedroom? My plan was to just get coffee in nature's pantry, but they have a lot of kombuchas and I have such a weakness for kombucha. If you are a booch fan, this one is so good. You probably already had it if you're a booch fan, but it's blood orange, hibiscus and rose. It is a GT's kombucha and it is so delicious. So I usually drink the like ginger and mint ones, ones that have less sugar, but this one's so delicious. But it makes me think of a story of um, GT's, which I think is such a fun story and just such a nice example of what good people can do with their companies. But this is years ago, probably like 12, maybe 13 years ago before kombucha was like really popular. I, um, I used to get kombucha all the time at our local co-op in Delaware and there was this, maybe, gosh, maybe this is 15 years ago. I don't know. This is, a, this is going back a ways and GT's was a brand new company and I was buying it and I got super hooked on it and I noticed if I didn't drink it that my stomach wasn't well. Like I would notice a difference in my stomach if I didn't drink it. So I got really hooked on it and um, I was noticing that there were shreds of plastic that would come off the cap. Like when I would twist the cap off plastic would come out and get into the drink which I wasn't mad like give me my money back I was upset because I was just like I love this drink and I don't want to drink plastic like they have to fix this they just have to fix it so I sent in an email you know just telling them what was happening and saying please 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 fix this problem because I love your product and I have to keep drinking it but I can't drink plastic and so I get a call the very next day from GT, <laughs> from GT Dave. He called me up and said, hey, thanks so much for reaching out to us. Like, please send us in a cap. We wanna see it and we wanna fix the problem. And I'm so sorry this happened. And then he sent me, I forget how many coupons. It was a lot of coupons for free bottles of kombucha. And they also sent me a package um, that was you know, prepaid postage for me to send them in the cap. And so I, I it was weeks worth of of um, coupons that I had for getting one like every day. Every time I'd go through the co-op, I would get one and then give in my coupon for my free kombucha. <laughs> and they were like, how did you get all these coupons? And I was like, GT gave them to me. <laughs> but I was just starting my photography. So yeah, this must've been like 12 or 13 years ago because I was just new to starting my photography business. And I was thinking to myself, like this is such phenomenal customer service and such a great example of how to treat people when you're trying to grow a business. And at the time, I mean, I'm pretty sure it was a really small business for them at the time. And now, of course, if you drink kombucha, you know that it's probably the biggest, I would guess, um, kombucha companies out there. So I just thought that was really cool. But I never forgot it. I never forgot getting that phone call. Just this positive, happy person saying, thank you so much for helping us. And yeah, so 12, 13, whatever years later, here I am still drinking that product. <laughs> And as the snow began to fall, I decided it was definitely time to go and dream about summer. And there's no better place to do that than in a beautiful greenhouse like here at Adams. 
walking into a place like this just instantly boosts my mood and makes me happy and makes me dream of all of the amazing things that will soon be growing in my own garden. my friends <laughs> I really 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 wanted to support local and get my plant of Adams but I got her at Home Depot because she was about a third of the price <laughs> of what's over at Adams right now so thanks Home Depot and my poor plant right now <laughs> I just have to carry her out in the snow so she's not looking too happy it's really snowing hard right now did you have a good time today buddy you did Yay. Here is my old <laughs> Kigaski book that I literally, it's just falling apart. I've used it so much. So this is exciting to have a nice fresh one that stays together for 50 cents. Pretty good. So yes, to sum it up, I am a complete and total fake who has pretty much zero confidence in herself but I'm gonna keep on acting here on YouTube like I do have confidence and maybe just maybe with time my self-confidence will grow and I hope the same thing for you because so many of us are dealing with this but you are an amazing person thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful weekend